All right, so I'm ready to blend. I've rubbed all that oil on the surface and I'm ready to blend. I'm gonna start with a stump here. So I have lots of stumps. These are stumps, if you're not sure what a stump is. These are stumps. So it's just a blending tool and you can buy these off Amazon. Um, they might be called tortillons, T-O-R-T-I-L-L-I-O-N-S. I call them stumps. You can see I have several different ones here, but I'm gonna find one. You can see I have one for sky, right? This blue, right? And this one's got a little green on it. But this one is uh, kind of just general, any color here. That's what I'm gonna use for right now. So these are used for uh, blending. So I got that oil on there. So what I do now is I just take this and I just start smearing the colors around. And uh, basically blend these colors together and cover the surface. So that's the next step that we're gonna do. And I'm using this stump to help me with this process. If you don't have a stump, you can use your fingers. And this surface, this ampersand pastel board, even though it's sanded, it's really smooth, which is why I really like it. It's uh, very pleasant to work on. So it's not abrasive at all. Um, it's not gonna sand my fingers down, which is good. So I'll use my combination of my, my fingers, my thumb, my hands, and then the stump to kind of get this blending going. And I got a lot of oil on the surface, so this is really easy and really, I don't have to put a lot of pressure on the surface at the moment to get these to blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that real quick here, as quick as I can. And I use a, a, this blending layering technique on, on all my work for the most part. Um, there are times where I don't do a lot of blending, just depends. Um, but most of the time, I guess I am doing a lot of this kind of blending. So you can see my waterfall is going to come right here. So try not to, try not to blend over it. So we had like three different browns, no, two different browns, and then that pink. And these colors are all just kind of getting smeared together. This is first layer, so I know I'm going to keep going here. I'm not, I'm not worried about details right now. Right now I'm just worried about just covering and blending out. There's that little path that's going to come across comes up like that. Okay, you guys get the idea. You just kind of smear, blend it around, cover the paper. Make sure to go right up to the edge. Now this blending here will, will, will be different and it'll feel different depending on what surface you're using, right? So I like this ampersand pastel board because this is part, when it comes to this part, it's really easy. Different papers and different supports are gonna give you a different feel and it's gonna give you a different effect. Um, so depending on your paper, depending on your support, you're just gonna have a different experience here. But this ampersand pastel board is really, really just pleasant to work with. You can see how easy it is for me to just smear these colors right across using my finger here. Of course, I got a lot of oil on the, paper, on the surface here, so that definitely helps. I 
I want to cover all that gray, that, that gray board underneath the, underneath all these colors. I just want to cover up that gray. And then keep mindful of my composition and, and where this path and where my waterfall is going to be. <clears throat> that part okay and let's keep going down let's use the same stump not going to change stumps it's going to keep going down i got some green in here so we're going to see a lot more green which is fine i can still see where my path is I did this hike at Silver State Park. Let's see, I did it um, a week ago, a little over a week ago. And uh, I did the, the Trail of Ten Falls, that's what it's called. You're supposed to see 10 waterfalls. And I did see a lot. I don't think I saw quite 10 of them. Um, and that's because it's just, we're in the month of August, so. You know the water is not as uh, not as strong and not as much, right? I mean, summer's kind of been drying things out, so. But I did see where there were waterfalls, right? Some dried up areas. Um, so I think, for me, I think I'm going to come back in this area either uh, late fall or um, early spring and see what it looks like then. I bet there's a lot more water. A lot more waterfalls and stuff. Um, but this is a beautiful hike. And if you're watching and you've never been to Silver Falls State Park and you live in Oregon, you gotta go, you gotta go to it. Um, it's just an amazing little area of waterfalls and, and uh, kind of this canyon that you walk through. It's about an eight mile round trip loop that I went on. And uh, it took me about four, uh, actually close to five hours. I, I stopped along the way and had lunch and I just brought sandwiches with me and stuff and just took my time. There's a lot of up and down, you know, you have to kind of walk down into this canyon Right, you kind of walk, because you start up here off, off the top here and you kind of walk down and you're just following this trail that kind of goes through this canyon and there's just falls, waterfalls all along the way. It's really pretty. So Silver Falls State Park. So if you're visiting Oregon or you live in Oregon and you've never been there, you need to go. You will enjoy it immensely. I guarantee that. Um, it's just really pretty. If you're into nature and hiking and stuff, this is a great little spot to see. So still blending here. Try to make sure my camera is on what I'm working on. All right, so I'm gonna come right into the water and keep going with this. The water I'm gonna to try to do more by horizontal motion instead of a up down. And the reason why I do that is it helps me remember to keep the water flat, to keep it flat. If I start doing this, then the water doesn't really look like water. Keep that nice and flat. There's where the waterfall is going to hit the water, so I'm going to leave that alone. Nice horizontal motion here. gets down to the edge, I kind of have to switch to my fingers. 
but still keeping that same horizontal flat motion going. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going with that. Let's just kind of smear that out. kind of been falling behind on my YouTube stuff. I've just been busy just with my little studio space down here and just been painting and painting and trying to get my the body of work going. I just kind of fell behind on doing videos. Nice horizontal back and forth on the water. Even at this early stage, it's important to just get your mind going in like that, right? Just kind of get yourself going in that direction. So I got a nice uh, blend going down there. And uh, even in the light parts, I'm still gonna use the same stump here and I'm gonna just blend that out too. And I'll uh, we'll use my uh, thumbs. So I like to uh, do this standing up. I know a lot of people sit down and no problem with sitting down. Uh, for me though, I like to stand. I find that sitting, it hurts my back. And if I stand, I just have more energy and um, I can get through these things. It also allows you to step back and look at your work from you know six feet back or so. So I'm, I'm constantly kind of moving in and moving out just kind of making sure everything works. What happens is if you get too close, you end up kind of just getting this tunnel vision and you can't really see how everything works together. Um, so it's important to, when you're doing something like this, if you're sitting down, just to kind of see the whole scene and don't get so tunnel vision into one little spot. All right, so there's that part, now let's go to this tree here, same stump, I'm not going to switch out. And then this blending, I'm going to kind of do more of a circular type of blend, rather than horizontal or vertical. I'm going to kind of, kind of get the volume of the tree by doing this circular type of blend. Just kind of mix all those greens together not worried about the details. I'm kind of even going over where I put the branches and the trunks and stuff too. We can always redo that. But right now I just kind of want to blend out, cover this up and use this circular motion here. Spread it around. I got a nice, good amount of oil on the surface. So it makes this job really easy, this blending part really easy when you have a lot of oil on the surface. And uh, get this blended out here. I'm just kind of smearing it with my thumbs. Just kind of dragging it in random spots. And I'm just kind of 
doing that to it. <laughs> Remember, this is just the first layer, so I'm not concerned about the details right here, right? I'm just concerned about covering. Covering and blending this first part. That's pretty good on the tree. tree. All right, now let's go up in the sky. Now I'm not gonna take this stump up in the sky. It's too dirty. So I'm gonna use my uh, stump that's mostly blue. This is what I use for skies. And uh, so we'll use this stump up in here. That way I don't bring in the brown from down here up in the sky. Okay, so I'm kind of just going in with and trying to get that blue to, to mix. I'm also mixing in a little bit of the green into it, which is fine. I'm, you know, this is first layer, so I'm gonna be going over this again with more color. So you know, it's okay if I get a little green mixed into the, uh, mixed into the blue. It's not a big deal. I can easily fix that with more layers. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to bring the brown up in here. I don't want to do that. I don't want the brown to be in the sky. I want to stay down here in the in the land in the cliffside. Okay. You can see what it looks like blended here. some green, which is fine. A little bit of green in there is okay. We're gonna add more layers, so be good. It's a nice warm day here in Portland. It's gonna be up in the mid 90s here pretty soon. It's probably about 85 degrees right now, or maybe it's close to 90, but I'm gonna have a fan on. I don't know if you can hear that. You can probably hear that in the background, some background noise. That's my fan, because I don't have air conditioning in my studio, so it can, get little, it can get kind of warm. So this fan is helping me keep cool. We had a pretty mild summer this year in Portland. We didn't have any fire smoke to deal with. The last few summers we have been dealing with um, smoke from all the wildfires, but this year has been really, really nice. And it hasn't been hot, like we've had a really mild summer. It's just kind of a nice change. It's not to deal with the blazing heat. All right, so there's that up there. Okay, so pretty much uh, the whole thing's kind of blended at this point. And so I basically just covered my surface. And now we can go with some more layers. And I'm about an hour in so far. Right, when I started. All right, so let's take back, take a look at it. Here's my reference picture. You can see the difference here, and uh, this is just very basic, very basic composition, and where things are going to be, where my waterfall is going to be, where the path will go, where the water is going to be where this tree is gonna be at. You can kind of see the very basic foundation of these elements are, are already in. All right, so let's keep going. And let's put the stump away. And uh, I think we're gonna switch now to the rest of my oil pastels. So up until this point, we've just been using Crepaz Expressionist and I've just been using these colors here. So that's all Crepaz Expressionist. That's what this is. So now we're gonna to switch to my 
my full set. 